Good morning, welcome to today's video. Welcome to Independence. Today we're riding 110 miles to a place called Lee Vining. We're finally out of the desert. It should be a bit of a cooler day today. Only about 35 degrees. <laughs> took the words right out of my mouth. Ooh, asshole. Have you ever played the game Burnout Paradise? No. You've been talking about this all trip. That's where we are. Burnout Paradise. I feel burnt out. <laughs> place you uh, drive your car up in the mountains. Seriously. Paradise City. Paradise City. Where the grass is green and the... The girls are green. You, got, you guys got a new favourite drink? Mango, mango. It's well good. I thought it was it's, a beer when you brought it back last night. It's the night. cheapest by far from any other drink and the best. One dollar. One dollar. One dollar. Can I try some? So today's ride is um, the first 25 miles have been a flat, straight road. Not that inspiring, but a hell of a lot less stressful than the desert, especially seeing as there's stops every few miles. So we're never really that far from a water or food source. It's good. It's nice and chill. James, do you think Lawrence is having one of those days again? He's sitting in a pile of logs. I don't know why, because he got loads of sleep last night, didn't you, mate? I'm fine, mate. I'm just sitting on some logs. <laughs> Guys, you get one year in prison for stealing a newspaper. So we're about 50 miles into the ride now. From this point onwards, the gradient goes up. We're going to be climbing to about 70 miles, have some lunch, and then uh, finish the rest off. Luckily, we finished the ride on a descent, so we will be rewarded. Can I feel you creeping in? Can I feel you creeping in? Can I feel you creeping in? Oh, we're in the desert again, mate. Hey, I thought we'd done with this. Look, long, dry, straight roads with nothing to be seen for miles. Can I help Couldn't have happened back there, could it? No, where there was shade. Yeah, where there was shade. And a stream. <laughs> You'd stick your little head into. I would have. Why aren't you running tubeless, mate? So we're halfway up the climb to lunch. It's too hot. There's a stream. We're getting in it. Oh my god! Right. Nice! Dude, that's so cold. So, Kelso is in the middle of the desert. Here we have the luxury of being able to take everything off. <laughs> Jumping up with the Getting freezing river. cold water. Lawrence, it's going to be difficult to get Lawrence out. It's a bit like, you know, when you, you take your take dog, a dog for a walk, for a walk. <laughs> you can't get him out of the pond. I'm going to sit here for about an hour now. Yeah. Stop putting lids on your f***ing drinks. This country's plastic obsessed enough as it is. <laughs> The worm has turned. <laughs> Water sucks. Okay, we've been sat here for about an hour and a half. We've refueled, um, had some Gatorade. Miles. And we've got about 22, 23 Ow. miles until we get to the top of the descent that takes us into home. I have a headache, I'm dehydrated, I'm a bit shaky. But this should be the last kind of climbing we're gonna be doing in You'll 40 right. plus degrees. Ladies and gentlemen, Francis Cade is extremely good at psyching himself out. You just need a little shake. Shake, shake your little. Seeking you out, moving fierce through the town, crawling beneath, find where you hide. Take off my shoes. First class we've seen in a week. What the hell is that thing? What the hell is this, man? Savage. Savage headwind, bro. This is the worst headwind I've ever had to ride into. Yeah, it's, it's the uh, strongest, most consistent headwind ever. It's like 12 mile an hour at 300 watts on the flat. <laughs> right, dudes, 26 miles to go. How you feeling, brother? I have been better. It, it feels horrendous because we're, uh, what are we, 80 miles in, 83 miles in, and we've just been riding at like 300 watts downhill 
Oh. But but Yosemite is beautiful. Look at it. Yeah. Incredible. Uh, Lawrence is utterly thrilled, as you can see. Utterly what? <laughs> thrilled. Yeah. It's um, incredible. Look. <laughs> snow. There's snow, man. <laughs> Get you, bless. Fuck off. Hey. The most it's dangerous thing has gone from being the sun to bears. Fuck's sake. But you know, I saw, um, you filmed it, man. Huh? You, you see it in your video. Viewers need to go and watch your video. For what? For, for, for the bear. We saw a bear. You filmed it. Oh, yeah, the bear. Yeah. yeah. You're sending it up, Lawrence. Yeah. The baby's going up. You've got to make, make the most of the time, right? Yeah. So just to clarify, because uh, obviously we had some footage from the desert as well with the drone, we have been avoiding launching it in national parks. So we kind of subbed in footage that looks like it was in Death Valley and then like shuffled the timeline around. But in actual fact, we've managed to get away with pretty good shots, not in the national parks. Uh, right now we're on the border of the Yosemite National Park. So we're allowed to put the drone up. And uh, I mean, it's, it's close enough, so. And I also, I've read all the rules and I know, I understand you've got to fly away from people and away from, you know, uh, public events and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, we know what we're doing here. No crashing into people. No crashing into people. That that would be a shame. Boring as. Yeah. How nice is this place? So we think we've died and gone to heaven. So pints of Sierra Nevada are $4.50 instead of 10. And actually it's on tap, so it tastes beautiful and this town is like being in the swiss alps i feel like i yeah does that mean we're not in a national park <laughs> you just want to launch your drone look i mean <laughs> the, the green the green is a national park right yeah and we're in this little as long as you stay within the constraints of, oh of no but we're, we're next to an airport so i can't let me guess no dogs no none of the american hotel rooms have biscuits very biscuits are quite an English thing. Very disappointing. No, 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 I mean doggy biscuits. <laughs> you may have noticed that today's video is a bit short. I actually don't know if it's going to be a bit short because I'm starting the edit yet. But it's because I felt absolutely awful and had one of the hardest rides ever. Not as hard as Kelso, but it was up there. Nothing will ever be as bad as Kelso. Exactly. It's a bit like Voldemort in that respect, isn't it? You just don't, you just don't talk about it. The ride that will not be named. I feel a bit smashed though, to be honest with you. Yeah, man. Might be those two beers. <laughs> Maybe. Lawrence's. I'm going to end this video now. Uh, thank you, as always, for watching. Tomorrow we've got 130 odd miles to do. 13. 13? Oh, that's yeah, better. 113, but with 10,000 feet of climbing, but 13,000 feet of descent. On the plus side, we're going to have some lovely vegan food. Oh, can't wait. Catch you then.